Hello and welcome to Ukraine Today. My name is Peter Byrne and this is the Press Review. U.S. Vice President Joe Biden will address Ukraine's parliament next week during a visit that will largely be ignored by most Americans, most of whom are still incapable of finding the country on a map. Mike Eccles for Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty, on December 2nd writes about what we can expect from the trip. A senior U.S. administration official said on December 2nd that in his address to the Verkhovna Rada, Biden would reiterate U.S. opposition to Russia's annexation of the Crimea Peninsula and support for Ukraine's debt restructuring agreement with the International Monetary Fund and other international lenders. Biden is the highest ranking U.S. official to speak before the Ukrainian parliament since U.S. President George H.W. Bush did in 1991 during the waning days of the Soviet Union. During that trip, he delivered the infamous Chicken Kiev speech, which is still widely considered to be one of the worst speeches ever made by an American chief executive. Biden has visited Ukraine four times since peaceful protests began in the streets of the Ukrainian capital, Kiev, in November 2013, over a proposed deal between Ukraine and the European Union. U.S. and European officials say combined Russian separatist forces in eastern Ukraine continue to violate the Minsk Accords daily. Echo writes that Moscow, for its part, is accusing Ukrainian security forces of violations. Biden's visit comes just days after U.S. President Barack Obama signed new defense policy legislation for 2016 that includes $300 million in aid and equipment for Ukraine. Of that figure, Congress earmarked $50 million for lethal weaponry, something Ukraine has been requesting for months now. Unfortunately, much of the promised U.S. non-lethal assistance arriving in Ukraine has been crap, according to several recent articles appearing in the English-language press. Eccles adds at the end of his report that Biden will also discuss the decades-long problem of reforms aimed at rooting out Ukraine's deeply entrenched and festering problem of corruption. Wonderful. This has been Peter Byrne with the Press Review. Join us again tomorrow for another edition.